Lewis Hamilton is now a six-time Formula One world champion and his 2019 success will go down as one of the more straightforward. But there are several factors that played a role in Hamilton looking unstoppable as the season progressed and missed opportunities for his rivals to have given him a bigger fight. Here are the 10 moments that were most decisive in Hamilton becoming only the second driver in F1 history to win a sixth world championship. Mercedes ran with a deliberately conservative launch spec car when testing started, which gave it more time to commit to getting its proper car ready. It revealed a meaner and leaner machine for the second test, but it wasn't until the final day of pre-season that it unlocked the true performance of that package. Hamilton ended the test three thousandths of a second down on Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari, but Mercedes still expected to be behind heading to the first race. Pre-season predictions were thrown in the bin when Mercedes trounced Ferrari by seven tenths of a second in qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix. Ferrari then had nothing up its sleeve for the race, but Hamilton lost out to a rejuvenated teammate Valtteri Bottas, who won by 20 seconds. Hamilton's performance was hurt by floor damage to his car from running over a kerb, but the race offered a warning shot that Bottas was up for the fight after a dismal end to 2018. Ferrari bounced back at the Bahrain Grand Prix, locking out the front row and holding a commanding position in the race. But what should have been the beginning of a title challenge turned into Ferrari's first implosion of the season. An unprecedented short circuit within the control systems of Leclerc's engine robbed him of a maiden victory, while Hamilton's superiority over Vettel in combat prevented the other Ferrari from picking up the pieces. After being passed by Hamilton around the outside of Turn 4, Vettel spun on the exit meaning that Mercedes benefited from Leclerc's failure rather than a second Ferrari. Bottas lost out to Hamilton from pole in China, but he was determined to prevent a repeat of that next time out in Baku. Hamilton made the better getaway again, but Bottas hung on around the outside of the first two corners to keep the lead and convert it into victory. That gave Bottas the championship lead, while Ferrari let another chance slip through its fingers after pole contender Leclerc crashed in qualifying. Hamilton made a point of noting that he'd been generous with the amount of space he'd given Bottas at the start, a hint that he perhaps wouldn't always be so courteous. Mercedes won the first eight races of the season, and a key part of that success was the major upgrade it brought to the Spanish Grand Prix. Hamilton retook the championship lead in a 1-2 finish for Mercedes and he would stay there for the rest of the year. Back at the scene of its strong testing form, Ferrari was nowhere as the dominance of the Silver Arrows became clear. Vettel should have broken Mercedes' winning streak at the Canadian Grand Prix, but his weakness in battle with Hamilton reared its head yet again. After soaking up pressure for nearly 50 laps, Vettel got out of shape at Turn 3, running across the grass. He rejoined just ahead of Hamilton, who attempted to pass on the outside but was squeezed against the wall. Vettel was given a 5 second penalty for rejoining unsafely, which meant Hamilton claimed victory despite finishing behind the Ferrari on the road. You can argue whether there's intent there or not, but ultimately, had Hamilton not backed out, Vettel's unsafe return onto the circuit would have put Hamilton in the wall. Hamilton was one of many drivers to make errors in the rain-affected German Grand Prix, picking up only a couple of points. But what should have been a huge chance for Bottas to claw back some ground came to nothing. Second place looked to be on the cards as he chased down Daniel Kvyat and Lance Stroll in the closing stages, but when he spun into the barriers at Turn 1, it meant Hamilton left Germany with a 41-point lead. Hamilton and Max Verstappen were so far ahead of the rest in Hungary that Mercedes could make an extra pit stop to try to chase down the race leading Red Bull on fresher tyres. If Verstappen pitted a lap later he was going to come out behind Hamilton, so he stayed out and hoped his tyres would hang on. By the end Verstappen had nothing left and he was powerless to stop Hamilton stealing victory four laps from home. It was another day to forget for Bottas, who lost out in battle with Hamilton at the start and then picked up damage in a clash with Leclerc's Ferrari. He came home 8th 
losing 21 points to Hamilton, who went into the summer break having extended his lead to 62 points. There are many Ferrari implosions to choose from during this season, although after the summer break it finally started winning races. But its winning streak came to an end in Russia. The race started with an over-managed agreement between Vettel and Leclerc, followed by Vettel failing to honour his side of the deal to let Leclerc back through afterwards. The race was still Ferrari's to lose at this point, and that happened when Vettel's MG UK failed, triggering a safety car that allowed Hamilton to make his pit stop and emerge still in the lead ahead of Leclerc. It was a slice of luck that helped Hamilton extend his lead over Bottas by more points than he would have if Ferrari had scored a 1-2, but that luck was earned by Hamilton extending his stint. Hamilton headed to the Mexican Grand Prix tipping Mercedes to struggle, but he executed a perfect strategy gamble to take an unlikely victory after an eventful start. In a race of mixed up strategies, Hamilton pulled off a one stopper with excellent tyre management to rob Ferrari of another win. While Bottas' third place kept the title race alive for another week, the gap between them was now so big it was inevitable Hamilton would seal his sixth title in America. Bottas did all he could by winning at Austin, but even that left Hamilton only needing to finish eighth, and he comfortably sealed the title with second place after a late race battle for the win with his teammate. That leaves Hamilton just one title short of Michael Schumacher's record of seven, a number that seemed out of reach to anyone before his run of five championships in six seasons with Mercedes. The big question now is can he make it to seven in 2020?